I've seen a few different crafters create this. So thank you for the inspiration. This was inspired by Rethink Fabulous and the Silver Farmhouse. So you first wanna just grab a package of these brown sandwich bags from Dollar Tree or wherever and just start crumbling them up. You wanna do this for about six or seven times. And just keep crumbling it until it feels nice and soft and there's really not much more crunch to it. Next, I just grabbed a big handful of this polyfill. You could get this from Hobby Lobby. I just stuffed that bag, made sure that it was evenly distributed down at the bottom of the bag. And then you wanna just scrunch the top up. And all I did was just tie it off with a rubber band. You then just want to grab the color paint of your choice. These are pumpkins, so I just went traditional and I painted mine with some orange acrylic paint. You could get acrylic paint from Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, wherever. I did not paint this to perfection. You could still kind of see some of the original bag peeking through and I was totally okay with that. But if you want it to be completely covered, I recommend doing two or three coats, just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat, and then just allow everything to completely dry. Now, by all means, you could leave the pumpkin as it is, just like this, nice and round, but I like to go above and beyond. So I had some of this jute string that you get from Dollar Tree. I just placed it underneath the bag, tied it off at the top. This is going one way, and then you wanna just go a different way so now it's almost like a crisscross just tie that string at the top as well and then add another piece of string going in a diagonal on both sides so all this is doing is just creating those natural grooves that you would see on real pumpkins and once you had all of those tied off all I did was just go over the jute string with just a little bit more of that orange acrylic paint and then allow that to completely dry. Now you want to leave the sandwich bag top the way that it is. All I did was just grab some water and I just added some school glue in it just to water down that glue and just started saturating the top of that bag. You wanna make sure it's pretty soaked. And all you want to do is just start twisting it. You want to twist it pretty tightly. And this is going to be the pumpkin stem. You could shape it however you would like. And once that water and glue mixture dries, that paper bag will stay exactly the way it is. And it'll kind of harden as well. Next, I just grabbed some of the Spanish moss you could get from Dollar Tree. And I just hot glued those to the top of the pumpkin. And these came out so adorable. These were super quick and easy, super inexpensive to create, and they make great accent pieces. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.